Want to install software that is not in the default software repositories? Here's how to quickly add a PPA in Linux Mint. Well, what is a PPA? PPA is a personal package archive. It is a third-party software source. PPA lets you access the latest versions of software not available in Linux Mint default repositories. It doesn't mean you cannot get the same app from Linux Mint repository, like for example through the software manager, but the version of the application will be slightly outdated because it needs to be verified by the Linux Mint community and added to the Linux Mint repository. Adding a personal package archive or PPA is a great way to get the latest version of an application in Linux Mint, but it is important to do it safely. So you need to be very careful when using PPAs because some of them come in from external developers. In this video, I'll show you how to add a new PPA repository step by step using TimeShift as an example. Always make sure the PPA is from a trusted source. You can find this information on the official website of the application or reliable community page like Launchpad. For TimeShift, the official PPA is maintained by its developer, TG Tech. All right, now let's go ahead and add the PPA for the TimeShift. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt or simply navigate into the bottom panel and clicking on the terminal icon. Then type the following command to add the PPA repository sudo space add dash apt dash repository space PPA colonel sign tg2008 forward slash timeshift. You'll be asked for your password. Review the PPA details and press enter to confirm. After adding the PPA, you'll need to update your systems package list so it can recognize the new repository. For that, run the following command, sudo apt update, press enter. Now that the PPA is added, you can install timesheet with the following command, sudo space apt space install space timeshift, then press enter. Once installed, you can find TimeShift in your menu and use it for creating backups. Actually, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use TimeShift. It is a very nice and helpful app to create backups that in case something goes wrong, you will be able to backup your system to the previous stable and working state without having to reinstall your system or do any troubleshooting. Simply recover it to the previous working state, which will be very handy. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the new video. It should be out pretty soon. If you ever want to remove the PPA, you can do so easily. Open the software sources app from your menu, go to the PPA tab and delete the repository. Only add PPAs you trust. Adding random PPAs could introduce unstable software or even compromise your system. If possible, stick to the software available in Linux Mint official repositories or Flatpak. But if you want to try out the latest version of the software, now you know how to do that. That's how you safely manage PPAs in Linux Mint. If you find this video helpful, please support it with a like. Subscribe to the channel for more helpful Linux Mint videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to read your comments and help you if I can. Also, if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can use super thanks or check out the support links in the description. I appreciate it very much. But this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.